Introducing the Godwin Goat. If you're looking for a durable, high-quality indoor basketball that looks good and feels good, then check out the Godwin Goat at BallHogGloves.com. We also have pads, ball handling gloves, and shooting eggs. For a limited time, use discount code GodwinGoat33. Click the link in the bio. And then your ball handling has to be on point. And you've got to find a way to get into the paint so you can free people up. That's a tough shot to take, though T.J. Warren made it. Guarded by Milton, has a mismatch as he goes inside, shoots it up, and good. And T.J. Warren has back-to-back -back pass. Smith out there, and, and that's usually the best chance to get change. They just defensively, you know, got themselves right back into this. Thing. Points in the paint, and then coming back the yeah, next turn. Richardson, Josh Richardson at the point. The Pacers on a 9-0 run, 5.37 to play in the opening quarter, and T.J. Warren in double figures. He has 10. But, you know, when you and I were listening to Coach McMillan, what he talked about is the Pacers have to be a scrappy team with a good pass there. Night already for T.J. Warren. I mean, they have had no answer for Warren as he stays perfect when he's got 14, 6 of 6 from the field. That's what makes it hard for McDermott to get in the game offensively, so he's got to take some tough shots. And now McDermott goes inside. Here's Warren bottled up and scores around MB. Oh, that was a shot he was going to have to take. Did he get it still? T.J. McConnell took the ball from Milk. That's the second time, and now Warren for three, and a big-time first quarter for T.J. Warren. He's got 19. That's knocked away by T.J. Warren. He's back in. Great pass. Really good pass. Able to shuffle the pass with McConnell after the steal by the Pacers. Go inside, and they felt like that was a clean steal there by T.J. Warren. He's a scorer, and they put him back in a more natural position to keep Ben Simmons on the floor. And he has it going. 24 for T.J. Warren. Hold a depot. Oh, they got him in. Aaron Holiday, Sampson, Justin Holiday, Warren for two more. 26 <laughs> on fire for TJ Warren. Pacers back up by six. Oh, now that's a heat check. That is a heat check. He caught that three steps behind the three point line and just drilled it. Really good. I mean, that's a heat check. He gets that shot to go to shoot it. Step back three by Warren, and the Pacers have tied it at 69. That's because of the good effort on the glass down on the other end. Trying to do something. Oh, nice pass on the back cut. Warren has 36. Give it to him. There you go. Yeah, he's in rhythm. They give you a good chance to get back in the game. And now Warren again at the free throw line. Two more. Drop two. 41, a new career high for T.J. Warren and the Pacers within three. He's just playing against a guy that's it's pretty good. Now, the... Ooh, look at T.J. Knock it down. 15-1-11, Miles Turner coming in off the bench at the next dead ball. Oh, and two yes. more. And a foul. For T.J. Yes. Warren. 46. Solid pass. Turns the corner. And just does a good job of getting himself between the defender and the basket. For Miles Turner, and you're seeing more of it. Warren for three. 50 spot, give him a 50 spot right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's why the bench was up. And comes down court, get him the ball. You get to, nobody's guarding him. And knocks down the three-point shot for 50. Give him the 50 spot. Eight three-point shot of the night for T.J. Warren. Holiday, shot clock down to six, finds Warren. Here's go. a long three. Oh, yeah! It's it for 53! Oh, yeah! Sometimes you just have it, you let it go.